2 Kings 4, it's an incredible story. It's one of my favorite in all the Bible. It says this, the wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elisha, your servant, my husband is dead. And you know that he revered the Lord, but now his creditor is coming to take my two boys as his slaves. Elisha replied to her, how can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a small jar of olive oil. Elisha said, go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Then go inside and shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour oil into all the jars, and as each is filled, put it to one side. She left him. She shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the jars to her, and she kept pouring. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, bring me another one. But he replied, there's no jar left. And then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, go sell the oil, pay your debts. You and your sons can live on what is left. Notice a couple things here. The first is God hears the cry of those in need. He hears the cry. Uh, the second, though, he answers those cries through faith, work, and generosity, which is interesting. The faith, the faith was saying, and this is where she said, uh, I have a jar of oil. And she didn't think much of it. But she gave what she had and said, here is what I have. What can you do with this? Our application is the same. I am here. I have these talents. I have this much time. And I have this much in resources. What can you do with that? That's where you start. The second thing is work. He required work. And why is that strange? It's, it's God. God could go, boom, problem solved. Here's the money. You're out of debt. He's God. Of course he could do it. And yet, throughout the entire Bible, he rarely does that. He rarely just steps in and solves the problem. Almost every time, he steps in and goes, okay, here's what you're going to do. It's some kind of task. There's even with the miracles. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Pick up some mud. You know, it's, a, it's always a task involved, which is so interesting, right? There's work involved. In this one, it was go around to all your neighbors, which had to be a little bit difficult, and ask for empty jars. A little embarrassing maybe. I don't know. The application, though, is do the work. Research the need. And how can I add time, talent, or treasure in this thing? and multiply what God is going to do. And then finally, we see generosity. How long did the oil flow? Only as long as the generosity. Now that is really interesting. So how much, how much did God bless? Only as many jars that were brought in. And my guess is this. When they went door to door saying they needed a jar, I bet they had lots of jars. But they were like, oh, it's a jar. Okay, here's a jar. They gave that little, that just whatever, when they could have given more, but they gave what they thought was ridiculous in the first place, and they did it. And then they raised a certain amount. I guess this is enough jars. Okay. And then that is how much generosity poured in. And God just does that so many times where I go, he's matching our heart of generosity. So it is up to us. He always says, you're the hands and feet. I'm going to match your generosity.